Hey guys, this is Perry Guy 88 and welcome to Let's Play Custom Robos. This is episode 11. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Last episode, uh, well, not much, but we did meet someone very unpleasant. Uh, his name is Evil, and I hate him so much. I, I'm putting him in the list along with Blue, Gengar, Pokey for sure. Yeah, all the other evil people. So, this episode, um, we just met up with a bad situation. Someone actually died. This guy here. Yeah, he obviously can't answer because he's dead. So let's figure out what's going on. It was already too late when I arrived. Oh, that's too bad. Um, you're late. Things has gone pretty bad here. Okay, who do we have here? Oh, it's Mirror again. Harry, what are you doing here? We got a call, but it came too late. Whatever happened, it was over before we got here. Bounty Hunters! Ugh. We got him from here, so why don't you all beat it? Say what? We've got a job to do, and you Bounty Hunters are part of it. Oh, is that so? Sure, you show up for these cases, but for the small ones, you don't even bother. That's easy for you to say. You bounty hunters are free to pick your missions, but we police have far more responsibilities. Where's the law when regular, average folks need it, huh? Can't be bothered, is that it? You're not looking after the people who need you! Why do I even waste my time on a waster like you? You're nothing like your sister. You are! Leave it, Harry. It's out of our hands now. Harry, let's go. Come on, Ray. Wait, you got a minute? Roy, according to the witness, the victim is fighting some sort of anatomious robot. What did you say? And when he killed the victim, it fled the sea. Oh, wow, more questions. Uh, for people who don't know about this game, let's ask this one. Autonomous Robo? You don't know anything, do you? I'm really starting to worry if you got the chops to be a commander. An autonomous Robo moves itself without having any commander dive into it. They were designed for manual, repetitive weight. I've never heard of one that fights, though. Which is why I have to ask you for a favor, Marcia. I need your help. I know when I'm going to ask you. I need you to do a half to it and read the victim's last thoughts. What? Please, I'm begging you. With your power, we should be able to find some clue we can use. But, uh, I... Hey, Roy, ask her to help. What? Why should I have to beg this mercenary nobody to help us in our investigation? An excellent point. And well made. But if, for example, you had a fraction of your skill and power, maybe you wouldn't have to. So swallow your foolish pride and do it! Oh dang. But no. Marcia, please. I, I... You call that asking for a respected fellow law enforcement for help? Say it like you mean it. What? Shot it, Harry! Marcia, business is business. If you think you can take it, then give the cops a hand. I don't know, Ernest. I haven't done a half time in so long. I'm not even sure if I can steal. I'm not sure if I'm following this, but I don't think Marcia can help out here. I know. But we need her help. There's no one else we can turn to. Marcia, we understand if you can't do it. We won't blame you if you fail. Please, help us. Alright, let me concentrate. Okay, another question. For people who never played this game before, you might want to ask this question here. Well, not, you don't need to. What's a half to? It's when Marcia dives part way into a road. She's the only person who can do this. Remember what I told you a while back? Marcia had this special power since she was young. Marcia
see it can dive into a robo that's already been registered by eye contact. It doesn't mean she can control a pre-registered robo, though. However, she is able to read the commander's remaining cognition. So whatever the commander saw through his robo's eyes, she sees. She can even read that guy's last thoughts. Kinda gruesome, huh? Only thing is, when she does this, I'm starting. Whoa, whoa, gang, what's going on with her? Oh, I guess she's, she's screaming, but I'm not really sure here. Marcia! What's wrong? What happened? Ray, calm down. I'll explain later. Marcia, how'd it go? What'd you find out? <sighs> the victim wasn't fighting. A custom robo. What? What do you mean? It doesn't look like a robo. I never seen anything like it. It was like a living thing. That's ridiculous. No living thing can enter a museum. You're right. It's just not possible. But everything about it is different. It doesn't move like a robot doesn't even look like one. Did you see what it was? Only fake. It's just... I've heard enough! There's no way that could happen! Shut up, Roy! Marcia, what? Just what? I've never felt such... overwhelming power. Oh, that's not good, right? Come with us to HQ. I wanted to make it good. Hey! Whoa there! Look at her! Marcy is in bad shape. The stress of her after is getting to her. Now you see what she has to go through every time she does this? We're sorry about that, but as a citizen, she must comply with any and all police squad orders. Roy, we're asking for their cooperation, not their resentment. Be civil. As if! Look at you, barking like a dog! But still taking orders from my own sister! <laughs> Loser! Harry, we're out of line. Thank you for your hard work, Marcia. You must understand that this is extremely important, and we desperately need your help. I know you're feeling a little weak, but we won't ask you to do anything strenuous, I promise. So please, would you come with us to Police HQ and tell us more about what you saw? What? The Police HQ? Marcia! Alright, you can rest up if you're not feeling up to it. No! I'll go! I want to go! I'm... I'm fine! Just don't overexert yourself. We'll wait for you back at the office. Well, Mira, take care of Marcia. Hey, Harry! Ray! Let's go! Okay, wow. All that was pretty creepy, wasn't it, people? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Okay, so we're following Ernest back, so there's no way you could get lost in this small town, which is very hard to get lost because it's so small. Um, wait a minute. Oh, well, forget about that. We're going to save real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yes, save. What's taking Marcia so long? I wonder if she's okay. Marcia will be fine. She's got a strong will. She's not like you. Aww, that's not nice. But how come Marcia was so willing to help those cops? I mean, she hardly argued at all. Say, Harry, what's so special about a half dive? Why can't anyone else do one? I don't know much about it. It's a rare talent. I've never met anyone else who could do a half dive. Really? But there might be others. I've never even heard about half dives before now. Well, according to my sis, Marcia is the only commander alive today who can do a half dive. Wow, she's pretty extraordinary, isn't she? Well, she's something, alright. But it doesn't sound all that great. 
her power makes her extremely sensitive. Emotionally speaking, I mean. How so? For example, you ever have times where there's something on your mind? Don't you get worried? Well, in Marcia's case, take those worries and multiply them by a hundred. She gets so stressed out, she just freezes. That's pretty sensitive. Yeah, she's been like that since she was a child. That's why she seems so distant. She needs the distance to keep from getting hurt by people. See, it's like this. Marcia's big brother always used to protect her. That's rough. Being that sensitive and losing both your parents and your brother. Yeah, she really saw the hit rock bottom. It took a lot of work for Marcia to get where she is now. Hey, that's enough out of you. If I even catch you guys treating her differently because of this, I'll whop you both good. It's the phone. Maybe it's Marcia. Steel hearts. You squeal, we'll deal. This is Ernest. Ah, bogey. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I knew he wasn't wanted bad. I uh, forgot my robo. That's why I couldn't catch him on the spot. What? Oh, I get it. You gave Dark Blue the job yesterday. So now you're handing one down to us today? Thank you! You're absolutely right. I'm a very loyal customer. Your cafe has great atmosphere. Oh, you're starring a poetry slam night? What made you think I write poetry? Oh, saw that? Well, I'll send the boys over right now. Alright, we got work. Get over to Bogey's Pronto. Seems like there's some guy making a killing on battle wagers. Bogey said the guy's incredibly strong, and he's gotta put Bogey out of business if this keeps up. Huh? You're not coming, Ernest? I don't think so. I feel like that look right now, especially after seeing that guy at Dende Dawn's. Besides, I've got some like file to do around the office. Uh, yeah, sure. Hurry up! I'll set RC over when she returns. All right, so now we get control again. So let's go over to Bogey's Cafe again. All right. Hey, Ray, you do realize it's not up there, right? We gotta go down. See, I don't really know how you could get lost here. I mean, Red and Ness, I understand, but Ray, come on, this is a small town. You can't get lost here. <sighs> Forget it. Thanks for the call, Bogey. Steelheart's at your service. <laughs> well, hello! I've been waiting for you, Harry. And you too, Ray. Oh, great! Not you again! Why are you here? Me? Oh, I'm sure it's mere coincidence. We thought we could use some nice coffee after all our hard work. And we found a man in need. We would have resolved the situation right away, but... Bogey insisted that we give you Steel Hawk Fellows a fair shot. And fair's fair, of course, and we're waiting until you screw up before we take over. Fair's fair? Bogey called us, not you. This is our job. Oh, please, Harry. Are you even listening? We're mercenaries. The job goes to the fastest team. But we're a generous group. We dark blue mercenaries. We'll fight for it. How about the two-on-two -two battle? Fight for what? It's our job. You're just trying to steal it from under our feet. Now that's rude. We thought we'd show some courtesy by waiting for you to arrive. You ought to be grateful. This will be a golden learning opportunity for you. Pay attention while I beat you down. Arr, this guy's getting on my nerves. Hey, Ray, we gotta rumble apart. I'm afraid our victory is already secured. The actual fight itself is a mere formality, but if you wish... Sorry, Bogey, but we've got a score to settle here. Just wait a second, okay? I don't care. Just so long as someone takes care of my problem, alright? 
let me tell you a little more about two out two pals. I'm, I'm afraid we can't do that here every day. We're gonna end the, end the episode here. All right, that's the end of episode 11. Stay tuned for episode 12, where we can finally take down this jerk once and for all. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. All right, that's all right. That is Perry Guy 88. Now, see you guys later. All right, don't miss this episode. This is gonna be great. Bye.